big snake mistake while euthanizing invasive pythons. That's because they killed a breeder's pregnant pet boa. Okay, after a long legal battle with the FWC over this, he agreed to allow officers inside his facility in West Palm Beach. They were supposed to be Ill euthanizing illegal pythons, but he never expected this. This is the moment FWC officers pulled his business partner's boa constrictor, Big Sherl, out of her cage. She's pregnant mm -hmm. and completely legal to own in Florida. Chris Coffey says he made it very clear that that was the one snake they should not touch. Almost immediately after firing the bolt gun, the officers realized their mistake, and then they tell Coffey, who was in a back office. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah. You did it. How? I reminded you. Take time. I can't fix it. You just killed something that wasn't illegal. I showed them the label, what it says here. They both officers that were here at the time came and looked at them and agreed with me. Yes, it's a boa constrictor. They would not harm the boa constrictor. Well, the 10 year old snake and her babies were worth thousands of dollars, but more importantly, Big Cheryl's owner raised her from birth. It was heart wrenching. I mean, it was it was it was just as heart wrenching watching um, Chris's snakes get killed, too, as well. And I just can't believe that's that's the only way they can go about doing this. But that's one snake that had a, a name because she was special. It's just tremendously sad. And those babies, they, they're born alive. Boas don't lay eggs like a lot of other snakes. They, they bear live young. So those were pretty much fully formed babies. Well, a statement from an FWC spokeswoman did not address the loss of the boa directly, but said that Coffee quote, formally relinquished his reptiles to FWC and requested that the FWC officers and the investigators euthanize the reptiles. The FWC Division of Law Enforcement is determining the full details. At one point, Coffee had about 150 pythons. He said he got all of them prior to 2021 when they were legal with a special permit. And once the law changed, he says he tried rehoming them but contacted the FWC when he ran into trouble finding homes. In total, officers euthanized 34 snakes in addition to the boa. Coffee says he and the owner of the snake are still waiting to hear from the FWC as to how this can be resolved.